Welcome, guys. We're going to do the set review. Uh, I haven't looked at any of the new cards yet. I've seen a couple maybe floating out here or there, but I've only briefly looked at them. I haven't really thought about what they do or like combos or anything. I've just kind of briefly checked some stuff out. But this is like it's my first time kind of going through the whole set um, and trying to read the cards. I was going to do it earlier today, but I figured it'd be more fun to just do it on stream with everybody and kind of get like a community reaction. Um, so let's, I guess, start. I mean, I, there's a lot, a lot of all the other content out there. Joe put some stuff out on Omnipoke. So thank you for the sub. Cali, three months. Welcome. And that's, that's a great way to start the video, I guess. All right, so we're going to start with this guy, Venusaur and Snivy. The art is a five out of five, as Joe said. This card is fucking beautiful looking. Uh, if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, when you attach a grass from your hand to this Pokemon, choose when you approach it. So it's basically just red signal, so that could be decent. Um, attack sucks. Four energy for 160 is not great. Triple colorless, solar blast, GX, this deck is 50 to each your opponent's Pokemon. If this is two additional energy, heal all damage. Um, the attacks are awful. These attacks are not great. Uh, what's up, Pedro? What's up? Um, but the ability, oh, it's active too. So it's kind of, yeah, this card's not great. Uh, probably like a two out of five. Um, if maybe you have like a thing, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really like that. Um, the ability is okay, but it has to be active, which is the only thing that sucks because this thing has three retreat cost. Um, but that's the only reason. Yeah, if it wasn't active, then it'd be way better, but it's active, so I think it's a little bit worse. So maybe like two out of five, yeah. Um, Oddish, doesn't matter. This Gloom, they both seem irrelevant. Vileplume GX, 240. This guy's a fat daddy. Um, how is the art looking? Oh, look at that art. Look at how beautiful that looks. You already know I'm spending some good money here. Fragrant Flower Garden, once your turn, you may have 30 from each of your Pokemon. Not bad, but it is a stage two to get there, so it probably needs to have something else going for it. Um, Big Bloom, Grass Colors, 180 minus, 10 less. So you do heal, so I guess 180 for two isn't awful. Allergy Bomb, 50, Poison Burn, Paralyzed. I mean, so it's, it's actually just 50, 80, technically speaking, um, and Paralyzed. These attacks are okay, but not on a stage two. Um... So, I feel like this is not the best card. Maybe this is fine because you have Rowlegs. So, maybe you can Rowlegs out the Vileplume um, and get where you need to be. But if you don't play it in like a Rowlegs type deck, then it's probably not great. Yeah, stage one, as Alex said in the chat, is like probably where it would be kind of okay. But as a stage two deck, you'd have to play it with like Rowlegs or something because it's a lot of spots you dedicate to your deck. Um, Tangela. Whatever. Tangrowth, Grass Knot, 30 for each colors, retreat, active. Not that great, not that great. Um, <clears throat> Sunkern, Leech Seed. Okay, yeah, this is broken ability, heal 10, you know. Do 10, heal 10, that's a net 20. I don't know if you guys do math, but that's pretty broken for 50 HP Pokemon. Um, Sun Power, doing your next turn, ignore all energy. Uh, We don't have DC anymore, so I guess it's not that great, but if DC ever comes back, maybe this could see play in like a deck with Ditto. With grass stuff, because you can just go with, like sun power, um, and the next turn you can do um, some big, big attack. Um, so it could be it could be cute with a deck that already has zero prism. So I actually don't I don't hate this card. I think probably it's like a three out of five, maybe a four, like a three point five out of five, just because this ability, this attack is kind of cool. But the fact that it's an attack is not fantastic, and the fact that it's a stage one makes it a little worse um, than I would have liked it to be. If it was a basic, it would actually be pretty cool. Um, Heracross launch out. Triple uh, call triple is 50 plus 70 of the tag teams. Being three sucks. And we don't even have DCE, so this just isn't good. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got some we got some fossils. I eat. I eat. Um, I like this one. I'm, so far, I think Sunflower is good-ish. I, want, I, I could see it working. Um, Laleep doesn't do anything here. Ooh. I like that art. Swaying Bind, Special Condition Can't Retreat. So technically you play a like grass type deck that has conditions, yada yada. Um, the attack seems difficult to pull off, so there has to be something else that does the attack to get this Swaying Bind stuck. Um, right now every deck plays like 4 Switch, so it is kind of irrelevant that Retreat is available, like is blocked. But I could see it maybe being good if we like, the decks move away from sh Switch. Or like, again, Stage 2, so probably not amazing. 2.5 tops. 
Um, Tropia sucks. It is what it is. Um, Cricketot. Cricketune. Exactly one card in hand. 100 damage. Exactly three cards. It's confused. If you have six in your hand. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. I don't know if it's good. But the fact that there's a card that exists where the amount of cards exactly in your hand has three separate effects is really cool. Because we've had cards in the past like Yon Mega Prime where it's like if your hand size matches or like, you know, um, we've had cards in the past where like hand size does matter and they have different effects. But like this, this card is cool. Definitely like the fact that you can go one grass, one thirty, or you can go 30 confuse or, you know, just a, like 30 spread was also good. Sure, Mew exists in decks, so maybe not. So, um, I think this is cool. This is a cool card. I'm going to give it a four. I don't, uh, not a four, probably a three and a half. I like this. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Alex. Against tag teams, it doesn't feel amazing, but this is a cool concept. If this, like, ability applied to something else, maybe it'd be doper, but we'll see as we go. Deerling, oh yeah, uh, I remember my boy Joe was all about Sazbuck. So let's see if uh, let's, let's see what Sazbuck does here. Season's blessings, draw a card. <laughs> really, Joe? Really? Okay. So it draws cards, uh, and sixty switch. So not amazing. Sazbuck is not great. <coughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this clay art. Hide and seek. Aw, that's a cute attack name. Got another spooker relic. Uh, I'm just checking out the whole relic art line, honestly. 30 and switch. Could be okay. Ooh. 80. 80 doesn't matter. There's damage on it. If it wasn't a stage 2, this could be okay, but this sucks because it's a stage 2, I think. Because this is just not... In an era of tag teams, this is just so... So little for so much. Like, you're doing so much to get these stage 2s out. And, yeah. Zaz bust, yeah. Buzzwole. Oh, this art's dope. Uh, 20 more for each prize card you've taken. Um, 60 and 30. So, because it's this Pokemon, it sucks. But if it said, like, maybe your... If it said, maybe say all Pokemon names... Like, all your Buzzwole's attacks... Um, do it like if the if the card text literally just said Buzzwool, your Pokemon named Buzzwool and play do twenty more attack uh, active or whatever. Um, then you could play like two or three of these and like one of the um fighting type and actually do a ton of damage out of nowhere. But because it says this Pokemon as opposed to the text that I'm currently referring to, this this sucks. Uh, Charizard and Breaks and don't Google that. Whatever you do, um, not a huge fan of the art. It's okay. Um, Shiny Flare, 180. You may search your deck for up to three cards, put them in your hand. Could be okay. I like that. That's a, that's a pretty dope attack. Um, 180 is not the most damage, um, in the world, but getting a free comp, like, getting a free Steven's Resolve for 180 is pretty okay if you can do that. Um, maybe in, like, a Mew Box deck, right? Like, you can put a Charizard Breaks in a Mew Box and just have a 180. Um, and then, like, on a turn, on an off turn, you can just do 180 and set up your hand. Um, which could be really cute. It's probably not a good standalone deck, probably not good in Firebox either, but, uh, and something like Mew Box where you can flex in a one of copy, it could be really cute. Uh, Crimson Pillar, attach five basic energy from discard any way you like. This is not great. Not great. It's basically just full voltage. Um, yeah, uh, it's not great. This GX attack's okay. So probably like a three and a half, Three out of five, baby, just because it's not... I don't think it could be ever a standalone deck, but it's pretty good in a, like, Mew Box, like, one of tech. It's a, probably a one of tech, more than anything. It's never going to be a deck by itself. I'm sorry for you. Ponyta, okay. Rapidash, okay. It's, these guys exist. That's that's about their full capacity. Hey, a Flareon. Ooh, I like this art. Um... The attacks of your Pokemon GX evolve from EV to 30 more to your opponent's active Pokemon. Uh, you don't tell Mr. Joltik. <coughs> but only one at a time, so that's that's balanced. Um, so Flareon now does 220 if you want to hit with Flareon. Jolteon does 60-30. Um, this card's good. I don't think Vaporeon does anything. Glaceon does 120. Now, Leafeon is... I don't really know what Leafeon does anyway. Umbreon and Espeon are not legal. 
Um, so yeah, with Flare on GX, I oh, think for the follow go, go hand eats too. Um, but now Flareon's uh, GX's GX attack is good. Yes. And Glaceon doing 120 is relevant. So this is actually a pretty decent card in any deck that already plays an EV engine. And there, for those of you who don't know, there is EVs that are not the GX that came out in Hidden Fates. So there are EVs that aren't EV GXs. So you don't have to completely limit yourself to playing EV GX um, in any deck. Uh, Sogma GX over here. Yeah, my guy. Um, stomp off for two. Discard, nope. You'll be all right. Rally back. So revenge for 120. Uh, 120 is just not enough damage anymore, um, unfortunately. So in a format where like revenge is actually was like a good attacker, like any revenger was pretty good. But uh, 120 is just not enough. <laughs> That's a very, pretty funny art, actually. Um, four into hand. Do 100. Discard, discard. Uh, this guy looks very smug. Do you guys see this? He's just kind of like... <laughs> He's like the emoji. He's the emoji that I spam all the time. The, uh, the, that emoji. Yeah, the Torkoal emoji. Oh, yeah. If they follow Wally Cronkite. Um, yeah, this card's not great. Once during your turn, before you take me heal, 20 from your, one of your benched. So not at all good. <laughs> not at all good. <laughs> That's probably the weakest Victini I've seen in a very long time. <laughs> Uh, oh man, dude, look at this Tepig. He's taking a nap. Uh, he's dreaming. He's dreaming about being a big, big bad Embor. Um, this, this is he's training. You know, he's got the character evolution arc. And look at him, dude. He's got the final form. <laughs> the Tepig sees like 100 percent Pedro. <laughs> Steam Dance. You play this card of all your turn. You look at the top eight cards. Attaching energy. That's not bad. It's not bad. Um. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. It's not great at all because its attack is absolutely awful. But you could. No, just don't play this card. Actually, I mean the arts are cool, but like just don't play it. It doesn't seem great, honestly. I'm like thinking about any scenario where like playing like a 101 with Candy Line would be relevant, but playing a 101 Candy Line doesn't mean you get it as often as you'd like to get it. But then if you play a thicker line, then you are playing less good cards in your deck that would help any of the basic tag teams. Um, that exists currently, so it's just not a card that I think will make a huge impact, unfortunately. Um, stage shoes do hurt so bad right now. Like, every time I'm thinking about a stage two, I'm thinking about all the space you have to dedicate into a deck, whereas, like, playing just a tag team deck like Azul and Danny, where just, you just go ham with all the Dedenes, it just seems way better. I'll turn off my heat real quick. Um, La Resta, you exist. Volcarona GX, uh, discard a fire, put two damage counters. Helps firebox, that's pretty good, actually. It's just Decidueye. Um, 160 return two, also pretty good. Um, so you can just do that. And you have a nine tails for next turn. You have energies into your deck. Um, and 160 is a pretty good damage number because that's actually 180 theoretically speaking with Scorch Bomb. Um, this is not great. The GX isn't great. Uh, great Heat Wave isn't amazing. But this card I think it definitely see play. I think this card is pretty good. Um, because this helps out like numbers. Like Reshizard can now one shot Pikaram's. Um, with the EVGX and that kind of stuff, you know, you just do more damage, you know? It's good. I like, I like Scorching Bomb. This is very cool. Um, card is good. Probably like a four, four out of five, five out of five. We'll definitely see play. Um, <laughs> this is, this is like my man before he found out that his dad was dead. Um, shout out to Disney. Um, uh, Spiral Inferno, 70, discard tools, energy. <laughs> this card is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right um blastoise and piff love <clears throat> 10 out of 10 on the art um i love it i like love how they're doing like the the little guy and the big guy and like the arts are super cool splash maker 150 three water from your hand to anyone you like heal 50 water decks are not great unfortunately so uh unfortunate bubble launcher 100 active paralyzed three extra 150. This is a lot of, this is a lot of, it's a very steep energy cost for what you're getting in return. So it's not, it's not good. It's not a good card, but the art is definitely top notch. I really like this. Um, it just feels like, yeah, the, well, there's nothing good in water. So it just feels like a lot for what you're trying to do. Snowed in, uh, cute ability name. So it's got bench barrier. Um, 
That art's pretty cute. Um, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a little Ninetales as we move forward into the set. Oh, the Psyduck's so sad. And now he's big and swimming. This, uh, the line kind of sucks, but... Um, he's so sad. The maximum HP of each Pokemon from EV is increased by 60. That's not bad, because you can also play this Vaporeon and make... Also very cute art. You can make your EV GX... Or not EV GX. Um, Flareon GX into a bigger boy, and you can make it... Um, there's, like, a viable, like, Evolutions deck now, I think. There's, like, a very viable way to make Evolutions work, because you have a Ditto Prism, and you have four EVs, and you can also play EV GXs, so you can now play technically nine ways to evolve into EVs. Holy moly, EVs are back, baby. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a meme deck like this at some point and play it at a cup probably. Um like Kika's Evolutions like meme deck is like actually like potentially like viable because uh yeah, this is kind of crazy. Only one vital air ability. So you can just play like a bunch of these one of guys and like just beef up your evolutions and play like some weird evolution toolbox deck. Could be decent actually. Water Sneasel. Uh, it's it's me and the boys. This is me. This is Pedro. This is Mr. Hill. This is the gang. Water Sneasel is relevant for Dark Box. You can use Oak to set it up. Okay. I don't know what Oak does, but we'll get there. I promise. A nasty plot uh, slash claw. Not great. Art's cool. Whalmer. This art style is something. Um, Whale Lord and the classic Wingull. But nothing, nothing to write home about here. The Snorri going on a journey. Glalie is yelling. Ice Fang, not great. Frost Typhoon, not great. I mean, this could be... No, I wouldn't play it. Sveal. Happy Sveal. Angry Sveal. Happy Celio. Okay, Celio's network. Um, Angry Walt Rain. Okay, so he's just, he's just having his mood swings here. Cold Wave 60. Um, wow, this is actually awful. You can't use this attack of any of your Pokemon used Cold Wave during your last turn. Wow, this is this is complete garbage. All right, moving on. Like, it's, I was like, oh, it's got Quaking Punch. And then I was like, Stage 2 Quaking Punch 60, not amazing. And then I read this and I was like, nope, don't actually ever play this card. Um, high Tide, 2 Water to 1. Um, 130 discard... Two, discard one. Could be good. Yeah, Quagnag, I could see it. Um, the Chiron just seems better because you have Paralyzed, which is much, much better right now. But this Pipple Bart's dope. Three waters, 80. <laughs> why Why does this attack exist on a Pipplup? What? Um, Printplup, 100 Snipe. Dude, why does this Piplup line have, like, such brawlic attacks for being, like, a Piplup line? What? <laughs> why are these guys so strong? <laughs> Choose an attack from this Pokemon's previous... What? Wait a minute. That's actually kind of okay. Because you can do this 100 Snipe, you can do this, you can do 80, and it's Flash Ray? Whoa. It all makes sense now. I mean, in, in a, um, I mean, you can basically do this and flash ray on the GXs being a stage two kind of sucks. Um, but wow, this could be cool. I like this evolution line. This is good. This whole evolution line, I'll give it a four. I could see it being played in some capacity because it's a one prize deck that doesn't require an insane amount of setup. So you could actually like make it work relatively easily. Um, I need to go look at what water support already exists in the format in some capacity, because, like, well, how much HP does this guy have? 60. So, Elm Searchable, Step 1. Um, they didn't put the HP here. I'm going to have to message somebody about this. <clears throat> yeah, you don't need candy. You can be okay. 
Wait, do I need the attack cost for this? So if I can just like choose this and then use bubble hold. So it doesn't say I need the attack cost so I can just eventually get to Empoleon. Use bubble hold, use direct wave. Wow, that's way better than I thought. Oh, okay. Ting. I'm a, I like I like these guys. These guys are good. This is a good thing. I'm I'm a huge fan of water cards that just body the fire cards right now. And also you can just like Flash Ray a Mewtwo or something and burn, force him to burn switches and stuff. And it might introduce Channeler to the format again. Whirlpool Durag. Uh, discard. Whoa! This card's good! This card's broken. <coughs> this card's actually really good. This card's insane. Because it's a, it's a it's a reusable uh, gust effect, so you can break tag purge at any given moment. Um, but you can you break tag you break tag purge lock. You can force your opponent to go into something that isn't a drachi stellar wish, or like you you make your opponent bench something that isn't optimal. Um, which is really good. It's the same reason escape rope was good for a while. Um, frankly, you can just read English. Uh, <laughs> this is good. I like this card. This card's uh, five out of five. Definitely going to see play. I'm actually a huge fan of this card. Um, this is good. It's the same. It's the same reason. It's, yeah, it's the same reason Escape Rope was good for so long. It's going to force your opponents to get an extra Pokemon and play a little bit suboptimally. So like now, if I get like a Mewtwo and like an active Latios or something, I have to like think about um, what I'm putting onto my bench, and that actually makes decisions a little bit harder um, in the game. And I can't play as haphazardly because I did Dene that I benched could actually just be a free fodder. As the Franco. Just read English, Franco. It's not that hard. Um, Temple. Very strange that this guy is just like a standalone in this set. Like, where's his? Where's the rest of his evolution line? Um, there's a Ducklet. This is the Ducklet. This is us, guys. Swana, attach one. No. Hey, Black Kyram. This card did well for me at Nats. Um, Blizzard Wings, 30 discard. So this is too steep to do anything. Too steep to do anything here. Um, does this Pokemon have any damage counters on it? This is a basic. Okay, so this is 180 HP basic. That's pretty thick. So this could be good in wall decks. This is 100% going to be played in wall decks. Because if you get hit and you're not um, damaged, you flip a coin, tail, shuffle it in. If not, you can ace roll, loose mean loop, do something about it. It's going to be very good in stall decks. This card is going to make stall decks good again. Or like some different form of stall where like it's not like the Pidgey lock, but it's going to be something where it's like um, denying you prizes. Um, 180 sure isn't hard to hit. But um, a lot of decks may have to burn energy to get to 180. So you can probably like cold crush and move into this guy and eventually like reset up the game. So maybe this just becomes a Tekken Pidgey or something or another. Um, this is good for stall. Wishy Washy GX. What the heck is this art? Is he crying? I think he's crying. Uh, yeah, I can drop a link to the page. If you guys want to follow along, here's a link. That's on me. My bad, guys. Sorry. I didn't, didn't know you guys also wanted to read cards with me. Um, 20 time for each Wishy Washy and Wishy Washy GX in play. So technically you could have four, four, but Skyfield doesn't really exist anymore. So 120 tops. Big Catch GX kind of sucks. This guy, this guy, I mean, I'm sorry, buddy. You're just bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dupider. Iraq Wanied. He's like doing a little disco move here. Okay. Uh, his attacks aren't great. Pikachu. Um, the staple. This Pikachu looks kind of cool. I like the art. Volt Tackle 70. Nuzzle Paralyzed. Nuzzle's relevant-ish. Raichu also has Nuzzle. Um, this art is cheeky. 20 times the number of lightning attached to your Pokemon. So it's stage one... Um, dark cry basically like a stage one dark pulse could be cute in Picaram maybe because it's like a one it's a one prizer um, it's a one prizer in Picaram that can answer things like the low punny um, which I have seen a little bit on Twitter about because people are talking about it right now um, and somebody messaged me about it last night um, so it could be good 
Yeah, and then the Pachi deck with Nuzzle. <laughs> Way thicker, that's true. Baby Wishy Washy, baby. Um, Magnemite says Mirror Shot. Not great. Magneton. This art's kind of dope. Once during your turn, you would choose up to three supporters. <laughs> Reveal them, put them in your hand, then shuffle your deck. This Pokemon is knocked out. So I'm assuming that gives your opponent a prize. You get three supporters. You can probably grab Surge into something else. That's cool. That's kind of cool, actually. Because you can go Sur you can go Magneton in to get Surge and to start using your Degenerate Chainlock. So if a deck decides not to take prizes against you or you do something, you can do anything. You can grab Hat Ladies. Yeah, you can guarantee a Surge. That's kind of cool. I like this Magneton. I don't know in what capacity this could be good, but like any deck that plays Ditto and already plays like Surge or a plethora of supporters that revolves around getting those supporters into your hand could be good because a lot of decks can just auto-include a Ditto from now on. Um, so it could be good. I like this Magneton. I think it's a 4 out of 5 for sure. I, I am going to order a place of this Magneton um, for sure. Everything I'm, going to, I'm telling you guys I think is good, I will more than likely order a place of just to have it good. Just to have. Um, and Frank, uh, people like Franco know if I think a card is good, I'm going to force it until it works. Um, and I, I'll find a way. And you guys will be along with me on the stream as I, as I figure out how this card can work in a good capacity. Um, Jolteon, Speed Yell. <laughs> One less colorless? Dude, this Eevee deck is actually coming along. So you get 30 more damage. You get... Um, you get 30 more damage, you get 60 more health, and you get one less attack. So you can use Flareon's attack for one less. You can use Jolteon GX, 110 Headbolt. Um, I don't. I still. I still don't know what Vaporeon GX does. I'm really sorry. I own the card, but like, this is good. EV box seems decent actually. Um, this is good. I like. I like EV box. I like EV box. I am a huge fan of Eevee Box. I love my Eevees. The, I'm giving all the Eevees together, but like, I'm giving them all five. They're all good. They're all broken, actually. Like, straight Jolteon could be actually insane because you have the Volkner support to get it and you have Elms to get the Eevee lines and you have Cherish Balls to get Eevee GXs and the Evolutions. Like, oh my god. You have Radar to get Jolteons. You have... Okay, I like this. This is good. This is good. Uh, my brain is tingling. Um... Chinchow Lantern, top card of your opponent's deck and return as a top. You can play Ditto into uh, a stall deck and then, but you have to return it so it's not like, yeah. You can play Brox uh, to recover. Toga tomorrow. He's just this. This one looks kind of sad. I guess this one's got call for family. This one's really angry um, for some reason. So uh, they both suck. This art is a 10 out of 10. Holy moly. Like, look how beautiful this art is. Um, this is insane. This is insanely beautiful. Cosmic Burn, three Psychic Colors, 230. Could go into a Malamar deck for one big hitter. I don't think it's good. Psychic Psychic Colors, Slide of the Goddess, 200. If they lose, best effort. Your opponent next turn. Turn to each of your Pokemon. Effects. Uh... Super mediocre is what I'm going to say. I feel like there's better cards that exist in the game, but I also haven't seen Lily's Best Effort yet, so we're going to go to Lily's Best Effort and come back after this, and maybe my um, maybe my decision changes. Um, but at the current moment, I think um, it's not amazing. Maybe a 2 out of 5 to be playable. 4 out of 10 if you're rounding up. Uh, Blast Bomb if this is discovered by Roxy. So I'm going to go have to find Roxy because people have talked to me about Roxy already. Um, so Roxy spread seems like it's what it is. I don't know what Roxy does, but people have just like brought it up to me um, while we were talking. So Roxy pretty much is like saying discard these cards and then do spread and then poison gas, 10, poison, 90. So these two are like just god awful as attackers. Um, but this does 90 and discards it. So um, we'll see. That doesn't seem amazing. Natu's not great. The Zatu art's banging. Uh, put damage counters until it has 10 left. It is a flip a coin, though. Unfortunate. Ralts. Happy Ralts. Happy Curlia. Happy Glide. Um, it's both Psychic and Fighting. That's good-ish. Uh, power Cycle on 120. Double Colorless. Move 100 to bench. It's a stage 2, so I'm not like super optimistic about it. Optimistic about it. But the damage output does one-shot Pikaram. Um, 
so could be okay, but being a stage two is not great. Zatu's good with Will. Okay, guarantees heads. Okay, I'll get there, but that sounds really good. Guaranteeing heads. <clears throat> yeah, this card definitely goes into expanded Guardi. Um, yeah, this goes super good into Guardi. You may discard three from your hand if you search your deck for... That is very steep, but the ability is very cool. That's that that is very steep, but the ability is very cool. I like the ability. He doesn't do anything. If this exponent did not have a four damage card in way. Um This line kinda sucks, unfortunately. Like this ability is cool, but this line is not great. Discard draw. That's that's not awful. It's not great, but it exists. Um, nose cling, no retreat, air cutter, supersonic, charm stamp. This set is very big. We're There's a lot of cards. I'm literally like halfway through the page. Why is this so big? Um, Subat. They choose their own Pokemon. That's not great. Golet. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, this is this is our preparation for LAIC. This is how I'm going to start. So I'm not dead weight when I get there. Um This card's bad. I'm not going to buy this. The 160 is a good damage number, but having a supporter in this card does nothing is kind of uh Yeah, I blame Japan for this massive set. I agree with Franco. Skrelp. Dragalgy. If you're a pack to Pokemon's poison. If you're po 10 instead of 1, ooh, that could be spicy. It's a stage 1, so it's not amazing, and 120 means he's going to die real quick, but 10 instead of 1 is kind of cheeky. So maybe a 3 out of 10. Phantom. I like this. I like this art. This art is this art is very Halloween. This is very like topical for the month that we are currently in. Um, unfortunately, the card uh, is is bad, but yeah, here we are. Um, Trevenant, okay, this is angry. Twenty switch, one twenty four on one. Eh, no stage. It's just a it's just a stage one. That's a worse Giratina. Um, are you kidding? Like, are you actually kidding, Pokemon? My, like, least favorite Pokemon card is now a GX. This is actually unreal, guys. This is actually unreal. What kind of a sick joke is this? What, we got a Karen tag team in here, too? Alright, whatever, I'll read the card. I guess I have to give it a fair assessment. Zero out of ten, I haven't even read the card yet. Um, once during your turn, if one of your Pokemon knocked out, you might draw three. Could be okay. PCC for 80 is not great. The GX 100 switch for this. Both of these attacks are incredibly mediocre. This is just, this is a good fail safe to something like, um, late game stamp. But I also feel like if they're playing the Mimikyu, which I've already read, um, then this card just sucks. So I'm, I'm actually like legitimately unbiasedly giving this a 0 out of 10. This card is unplayable. Yeah, you bitch. Um, Alright. Mimikyu. This art is dope. I'll take 2 damage on 2 of your opponent's Pokemon each. Um, discard a supporter from your hand. Use your photos for the attack. Um... Could be okay. Impersonate, but it's not like uh, it's not good old impersonate. Um, this Mimikyu is broken. This Mimikyu is broken. Um, because you can play one or two copies, and all of a sudden your matchup against Mewtwo is really good. Your matchup against uh, Pikaram is really good. Um, abilities are pretty good. Like a lot of the a lot of the big tag teams actually get slowed down. So this is the card that I think uh, people were talking about giving Malmar a, a boost. And you can play this in a lot of a lot of decks. Like you can even just play it in decks to stop your opponents from doing stuff. So it's like a more active power plant. It's going to make stall a little bit better in the game. And it's going to make um, the generate decks exist to some capacity. So I wouldn't be surprised if we like 
Orangra gets banned. Because, like, I think that card is absolutely garbage uh, for the game, and resource management needs to go. So, uh, as long as something like that gets taken out, then we get something... Like, this Mimikyu makes a lot of things incredibly degenerate, is what I'm going to say. That's my first thought. I support I haven't seen yet? Oh, baby. I can't wait, JFM. <clears throat> Seaweed Gathering. No. Uh, Orangaroo is the problem. Yeah, Asperuza. 100% Orangaroo is the problem. <clears throat> Being able to uh, eliminate one of the win conditions for a game, which is deck out, is not healthy. Ascension, the typical Cosmog stuff. Unaware. Effects. <laughs> I see it. I see the arts. That makes sense. Stiffen. He's sleeping. Okay. Uh, Solgaleo and Playstation for 200 cards. Solgaleo and Lunala in a way you like. So it's forcing players to look into a Solgaleo slash Lunala type deck. Um... Yeah, yeah. That that seems like it could be cool. I don't I sold my verdict is out there, but this is just a worse mimic well it's a it could be decent this Marsh Shadow because what you can do is um it's not it's not mimic you where you have to copy the attack they used last. So say they use a different attack, um you can go up come up and use um maybe like say flare strike or um outrage or double blaze or like something different. Um that being said, a lot of the tag teams don't have that many different attacks. Right now, so if they're already using the attack, they're most more than likely going to be able to be copied by Mimikyu. So, um, it is it is light game assurance. I love the art, though. Look at this, like, quiet man. He's about to, like, assassinate Pikachu. Um, I've heard this card. People have talked about this card a little bit, so I'm excited to see what it is. Ah. This art. Lovely. Um, <laughs> we are... Okay, Depth Bomb put four damage counters... On your opponent's Pokemon, anyway, like, it's just like pri three prize cards to 12. <clears throat> this card's definitely good in Malamar. Um, especially when they get to that three prize card turn, you can all of a sudden just put 12 damage counters on the board. And you're forcing them to get to that point every single time because you are playing Malamar and they have to take one prize at a time. So you can do this, do something else, and then go Espioxis. So within two turns, you could have 12, 14 with Giratina. Um, assuming both of these things are spell tagged, 18, 22, plus 10, you have 32 damage counters to play with freely within three turns. Thank for the follow of Mamma Barut. Um, so think about it in that perspective, you have about 32 damage counters to play with. That's a tag team plus something else, plus the 130 you're probably doing with the attack from, uh, Giratina in between the two, uh, power turns. So think about it, the full, full context of things, you have 45 damage counters to play with, which is actually kind of insane to close out any game. Because you are probably doing damage throughout the game already. Um, and using uh, Distortion Door throughout the game. So this does, in fact, give Malamar a massive, massive power boost. Especially because it's an attacker that only needs one Psychic and one Colors. As opposed to the three energy costs that most of Malamar already has. This is a 10 out of 10 card. I think this card's broken. Um, yeah. Card's definitely broken. Uh, especially if it's like a Nihilagar or something you could, yeah, you literally could play it without Malamar. You could just play it um, in a deck that like revolves around using damage counter and stuff. Um, we saw some the Weezing line. I don't know what Roxy does yet because I haven't gotten to Roxy. But if you do something with the the Weezing and Roxy, um, then it could be good too. Um, Onyx is not good. Mm -hmm. Stadium card. Oh, this trap is getting in there, boys. <laughs> oh my god, you can Blacephalon, Lucifine, Prism on the same turns. <laughs> then you can just do it twice. <laughs> Unreal. Oh yeah, as, and also you have Esper. Like the syner It just screams out synergy with Malamar to me, and the card is just insane, uh, in my opinion right now. It's probably the best card I've seen so far. Hey, bravo. Haha, uh -huh, you can stop Guzma. It feels bad. Um, active, reduced by 30. Okay. <laughs> well, it's place. Mm -hmm. FFF, 120, 120 for Stadium, then Discard Stadium. That's steep for 240, especially on Stage 2. Um, what's up, Baby Ray? We're, like, about halfway. Halfway, it looks like. FFF, 220. No effects. It's Shred. But being all fighting is not amazing. It's kind of steep. You can play uh, Karate Belt if you're behind. 
So Karate Belt does come into play. You're more than likely to be behind if you're playing this deck because you are playing a stage two deck. But um, you do have to use the Karate Belt more than likely to actually make something happen. So not the most amazing card, but I could see it being playable because Fighting does beat um, Lightning, technically, technically speaking. <clears throat> and the minus 30 is a little relevant. It was said to be spells. Could be okay. Could be okay. Um, Anorath. We have more fossils. 50 more for each unidentified fossil in your discard for double call. So it caps at um, 220 because you can get all four in the discard due to... Um, due to... the stadium that gets your guys for you. Um, so 220 for this is not awful, but you had to get everything into the discard pile somehow. And the issue is how are you going to do that um, reliably? Because Fossils is already a little bit inconsistent. Um, so 3 out of 10. 3 out of 5 probably. No, 3 out of 10. Nothing more reasonable. Attached to 130. This could... Groudon could be pretty good in um, the Flygon deck I was talking about just to get two energies onto the board. And Groudon probably just takes the hit and dies for you. And 130 is kind of tanky. So you can get the energies onto the board that you're looking for. Um... The issue is having the fightings in your hand, so maybe you have to play like a spinner engine. There's no way to get fightings like on like lightnings and fires and psychics, which are all pretty easy to grab. Um, so Viridians, maybe I don't know, could be okay. Jolber with Rototiller, okay. Um, oh, this is the same um, same attack as the Excadrill from the years past with the the fewer cards. Eleventh hour tackle for one eighty. One eighty is kind of cool, but you have to have three or fewer in your deck. So you have to somehow get to that point in time. I guess Droll Bazooka 120 for discarding four. This deck is very like kamikaze. It's it's very kamikaze. I could see it being like a League Cup, League Challenge style deck, but never um, a competitive regional deck, I think. Um, it does beat Pikaram. So Pikaram is... Everything I've seen so far is making Pikaram look worse and worse, which... Um, that being said, I think Pikaram is still going to beat people up. He looks very angry. I'm I'm gonna maybe try to make this work for a League Challenger Cup. This this is definitely gonna be a card I do order, however, because I feel like there could be some potential behind it. Um, mini Earthquake. Okay. Oh, I found the rest of the the line. These guys line. Smooth over on a stage two. Get out. <laughs> Get out of here. Tordeca. Counter throw. Mm. One, 120 is just not a clean number for two. It just doesn't feel good. Uh, when tag teams just do better. Punch. Light punch. Pangoro basic. Wait, that's not right. This is a miss. How do you guys see this is a lie? Poco Beach is lying to me. This is bad. Crab man. Crab gang. Big Crab. Water. <coughs> um, This doesn't seem great. Just bad. Roar is good. Oh my god, look at the rock rough. This art is beautiful. I'm gonna order for just for the art. <coughs> if your opponent has... Uh, GX and players attack energy cost is reduced by triple colors. Are you kidding? What? That's free. But voltage claws only 60 and special makes it plus 70. So one shots Giratina, but in a deck, um, like Malmore shouldn't have GXs in play anyway, but you blow up the Dene's. This card is okay. <coughs> this card is cool. I like this guy. Three out of five. Dude, this is this is me at regionals. These are my friends at regionals. This is me about to play Greninja. These are my friends encouraging me. The, la the last time I played bees, my friends. Where else can I go with this? OCIC, Pedro, Fabian. Me about to play Mewtwo, getting bodied by the judges at deck check. 
All right, we're done here. <laughs> Enough memes. I can keep that going forever. <clears throat> Sandy Gast. Choose random. Shuffle in. Um, Palo Sand. This card sucks. <clears throat> Alone Meowth. Okay, here we go. More Alolan. Oh, this guy's fat. <laughs> uh, smack face. Uh, including damage on this Pokemon opponent's tag team. With special energy attack. So, I don't think special energy is particularly relevant in this current format. So, it's not really that good. This ability is not great. <laughs> Dark slash 120 vanilla is not great. Stalking Claw, 121 to your opponents. So, it's like a snipe. But... This this card is just like Oh Oh never mind I reread it. I reread it. Including damage from a tag team, ultra beasts, and Pokemon Special Energy. Oh, never mind. This is actually pretty good. I've changed my mind. This card's kind of broken. Because Ultra Beast can't hit you. Tag Teams can't hit you. We're just going to very do a... Like, we can just sit here and do a vanilla 120 every turn, honestly. And we'll just get where we need to go. I already have seen Red and Blue, so that's a spoiler on my end. So if you can get Red and Blue into this Alolan in Persia in turn 1 and attach the two fire Darkness energies, you could like pretty much just checkmate your opponent and not letting them play the game. And then... Yeah, this card's good. Uh, 5 out of 5, actually. With the Red and Blue supporter. Um... Could be an auto include in some sort of dark box style variant. Um, could be playing not like a Nagonadelt style variant, but like you can do like a like a like a non Nagonadelt, just like Weavile Persian attackers variant, where you don't accelerate the energies but get there. Um, so could be cooler. Just cut the Nagonadels completely out of the, the equation and just get where you need to be. These cards are bad. <laughs> Look at this art, dude. Uh, I mean, on on the flip side, Mimikyu completely destroys this card if we haven't forgotten that that card exists at this point in time. So, like, the fact that Mimikyu exists is just means that this card is just dead also. So, that they could just be, like, completely hard countered by a card I expect to see in pretty much every deck um, moving forward. Because Mimikyu is going to be a card that I think is incredibly relevant in a lot of decks. Um, this is not great. This is not great. Choose and discard one. Cute. But the follow-up paw by Sharp is not great. Mountain Munch, discard one. Red Viking. Um, it's just it's just Guzzler GX light and it's not great. Oh, Metal Sandshrew. Oh. Ho ho ho. Um not great. Ooh, ooh, this guy's attack is called Thwomp. I didn't just spit on my keyboard. Uh, called Thwomp Fail. 50 times the number of Pokemon you have that has recast a 4. That's very specific. That's very specific. This card is bad. But, you know, playing, playing Thwomp Fall seems kind of fun. Just to say it. Mawile, search for two tag team cards, put them in your hand. I'm assuming that means the new supporters are classified as tag team, I'm assuming. When we get to that point in time, I will confirm that. Because it says tag team cards, not Pokemon specifically, so I'm assuming that the mechanic has changed slightly. So, I will find that out when we get there. Don't spoil it for me. Hard Press, 60, Paralyzed, Triple Nose, okay. Sun Armor, Lunala, Not great. I don't like this. Oh, we got the triple taggies now. We've got the babies. Um, Togepi, Cleft, and Igloo Buff GX. Rolling Panic, YYC, uh, 120, flip a coin. That's not good. Supreme Puff, YY, take another turn after this one. Which is, I think that's that's just, like, good in general. Like, in any setup, like, fairy deck that exists, um, you can just do Supreme Puff and just, like, stall to get to where you need to be. 
Yeah, this is kind of broken, uh, but 14 fairy is, is really scary. But yeah, you need to do some degenerate combo and expanded. <clears throat> um, you may play L Lily's Clefairy Doll as your active Pokemon. A very specific, it seems like. Three colorless is a steep cost. I wouldn't do that. Oh, here's the Alola Ninetales. So we did see the Alola Vulpix, so I'd assume so. Dust Blow for no attack. Or no attack is 10 for each tool in your discard. That's kind of steep. I don't think you want to play, be playing that many tools. You could play like a tool-based Ninetales deck, maybe. Um, charms exist. Uh, E-ringing bells. I can't think of other ones, but... Um, boards maybe you just kind of play a bunch of tools and get where you need to be because you don't but it'd be tough to get the tools into the discard so um, uh, but I digress um, cards not amazing Azura could be cute because you can just do this and like recharge up your guardian or something and it doesn't offset the prize trade whatsoever um, in a turn where you're not actually attacking or like a fairy deck where you don't need to attack but I think fairy song may just be better um, Lost March, Lost March, Lost March, uh, unfortunately it's literally just like a not to with, yeah, the DC just doesn't help it, if it was like 1C maybe, things get better for Lost March, but, uh, yeah, I'll see what evolves, choose a card from your hand, put it in the Lost Zone, Gap Pocket's not bad, and this also has Lost March. <laughs> so both the line having Lost March could make Lost March actually reasonably good. It might be worth revisiting. It act, like Lost March actually might be worth revisiting. Both of them being double colors is not amazing, to be completely honest. Um, that's where I think the deck does once again uh, become worse purely because you need to um, use two energy attachments or like Welder or... Coco Prism or something of this sort. Um, you can, yeah, you can triple call us the Whimsy Cup, but that's about it. Um, so it's still, it's still a little bit different, um, but it could bring Lost March back from the dead um, to some capacity. And fairy typing is relevant. Yeah. <clears throat> Flabebe, not amazing. Tend to everybody, not amazing. There we go. Here's the band boy. Floet, or no, Flababy got banned, but like this flower picking, choose one, um, shuffle in. So this, this card is probably going to hit the ban list or whatever, dude. Flor Florgus, evolve, choose two, shuffle in. I think the Flababy that got banned was the one that lets you evolve on turn one in Japan. So that is very understandable because this, this ability is kind of annoying if you can do this turn one. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at this art. This is adorable. Oh, welcome to the picnic, boys. <clears throat> He's like, welcome to Sweet City, where we got candy and cottonies are friendly. Um, if your opponent's active Pokemon isn't confused, this attack fails. Well, that's kind of harsh. That's kind of bad. Sylveon, um, 80 plus 80, not bad. Not good. That's what I'll say. I know people have been talking about this card, so I'm excited to see this one. RCS Pal the other one, Palkia. I know a lot, a lot of, a lot of people have been talking about this one. <clears throat> Water, Metal Colorless, 150, three basic attachment to your Pokemon we like. Definitely can go in Mewbox. Definitely can just be a deck by itself. Rest of this game, you're attached to 30 more to your opponent's active. If this Pokemon has one extra Water attached, your opponent is knocked out, take one extra prize card. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, damage from those attacks. Is that saying that in the instance that I do the 30 extra damage and the 30 extra damage is the reason that I do get the knockout, I get the extra prize? Or just any attack that I do from here on out and knock out something, I would get an extra prize card? Because that would be game-changing. It's a choice band that allows me to take an extra prize for the rest of the game, which makes the game much, much faster so imagine this against Malamar. Like, imagine just popping this RCS Diago Palkia, like, on turn one, turn two, um, against Malamar. Like, Malamar gets real scared because now you're taking two prizes per knockout. Um, I think Malamar has to run Latios already, so 
This card's good. This card is really good. 10 out of 10 tacos. This card also, look at that art. Oh my gosh. That art is beautiful. Oh my gosh. 90x, discard three combination of from your bench Pokemon. So you, you can basically Welder and Cocoa Prism in the same deck. Um, this attack's pretty good. Um, this is regular? Wow. Wow. RRLL, <clears throat> 170 Snipe. Ends Resolve, 170 another another bench. So I, I'm going to find out what re Ends Resolve does because it's a pretty steep cost. So you could, But you could get it off with a Welder, Cocoa Prism attach in one turn. So you could literally Crossbake in the same turn, but you can't Ends Resolve to get the extra effect. So you could just Thunder Flame Dream and move into the Crossbake for the next turn. I like this card. This card's pretty good. Fairy Typing Weakness is not amazing uh, so far as we've discovered, but I do like this card. Both of these cards are very good so far. Uh, Gluttony. Naganadel and Guzzlord. These guys are just both fat. Um, you discard a Pokemon from your hand if you do heal 60. Jet Pierce, 180. Um, flip over your prize cards. They remain face up for the rest of the game. If this Pokemon is at least one, extra Psychic, one extra Dark Attached. Take two prize cards. So you just take two prize cards off the bat. That's kind of broken. So you flip and then take two. And then you can heal with this. So this card could be into... Psychic and Dark. What decks could play Psychic and Dark? I mean, you could just play Psychic in a Dark deck because you have Venom Shot available to you. Um, and this is an Ultra Beast, so you have B-String available to you. So you can use Chaos Order on a B-String turn, which is really good. Um, this is good. This card's good. I really like this card. This card is actually kind of insane. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of this card. This card's good. Uh, this card's good. Just the fact that you can just take two prize cards out of nowhere. And B-String, and Abuse B-String at the same time is really, really good. <clears throat> DD exists. All right, we'll see if we get there. Drampapa, Jangma-O, Jangma-O, Hawkma-O. So this guy can go into play and evolve straight into Koma-O if they have EX or GX in play. Um, and Koma-O does F, attach basic, 90, discard a tool. So not bad, not good. Um, Ultra Burst, two or free fire, 170 for free basically, and discard it to energy. So this could go into Ultra Mali if Ultra Mali still is a, is a deck. Um, cute, 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 cute. This is the card that everyone's been talking about Low Punny and Jigglypuff. This card's good. This card's very good. Jumping Wound 60 plus. Um, this is really, really good against um, Picarom and Mewtwo. Um, 60 plus 60 is really, really strong because Picarom almost always has three in play. Um, they have to play the Dene, they have to play Zoroar, they have to play a Picarom. You just blow it up. Against, um, Mewtwo, they almost always have a Dene, at least a Mewtwo, and at least another Mewtwo in play. Um, so you get to do a lot of damage, and if you're playing in a deck that, you know, used RCS Dialga, you can do the GX first and just take four prizes with Mega Lopunny Jigglypuff. This card can be an auto-included Malamar, maybe other decks they can just power it up. With a Wilder Engine. I like this card a lot, actually. Um, this card's good. Puff Smasher. You're asleep. 200 on your bench. Uh, not not great, but the snipe could be cute. Hey, there's Eevees. Supporter gets a card. Well, this Eevee's broken. What? Color, search your deck for all the homies. Put them onto your bench. You can literally just get five Eevee Jacks onto your board and just be like, what you got? Next move, your move, go. Um, and all of a sudden, you're set up over two turns. Eevees have just gone up one more notch. I didn't, I didn't think they could get any better, but I think the Eevee deck has gotten better in my mind again. Um, this Eevee deck is actually very, very cool. I'm actually very excited to try this out. Um, Eeveelutions are really good. Um, Eevees are good. Eevees are good. Eevees are good. Quiet voice. Sleep. Nope, not good. Why, is this, why does this card exist? Um, top card on the bottom without looking. So, I mean, I guess it's like a soft counter to like smooth over decks or like mallow decks or something that involves putting stuff on top. Um, I don't know why you would use this. Come catch, draw two, discard two, bye bye throw. Teddy Urso, scratch slash, hammer in. Okay, you're saying. 
Um, Zegus exists. Baby doll. Nope. Not amazing. Not amazing. Stoutland. Once during your turn, you may play this card from your hand. You may discard an energy from an active Pokemon. If this Pokemon is active, that type of discard an active. This is like very steep to do stuff. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it, man. Um, this is like very steep. I don't think this card's very good. Like I said, any stage two feels really steep. So like whatever you get off the trade off has to be really, really good for you in order to play the stage two. Or it has to be like some sort of way to like kind of cheat the game into letting you play it. So maybe Mimikyu lets you slow down your opponents long enough to get what you need to get out. But Rufflet, Brevariary, Helioptile, Heliolisk. Hmm. So Beware is good for doing retreat stuff for big boys. So maybe okay. Maybe okay. I did a prism deck that revolves around moving guys around. Um, <clears throat> so value disc reload. Oh, this art is nutty. You may draw cards from your deck until you have five. So octillery, and then fifty plus seventy if you play a supporter. So that's decent. Um, stage one though. So you do have a stage octillery, but you also have a good attack to do one twenty. But you could also just knock out an ultra beast right off the bat, which is a good counter to potential dark box stuff. Potential Guzzlord Naganadel stuff coming in. So White Knight GX, what a cool name. Um, all right, I like I like this card. This card's good. The GX are very good in this set. But so far, um, yeah, I would just go with Azul or Danny's list. Daniel, it's good. Beastite, ten more for each. Price card you've taken to your opponent's active Pokemon. Ultra Beasts. So Beasts do good damage here. I like Beastite. Bell Bell Elba and Bryson Man. Is this Spanish? Yeah. So play this card. Discard the top three of each player's deck. When you play this card, you may discard three other cards from your hand. If you do each player discards bench for one, here's your three for one. Your opponent discards first. This card is stupid. Are you kidding? They gave Mill more stuff? What? No. So you don't even have to do the discard. You, may, you you don't have to say that you may discard. You can just literally set your deck to three dead cards with a Ranguru. Gets three gets sort of those three dead cards. Brock's grit everything back in. Oh my god, this card is disgustingly good. Are you kidding? Oh my god, Belalba and Bryson. Why? Oh my god, I hate this card. Welcome to the game. I hate you already. Chaotic Swell, when either player plays a new stadium card from the hand, discard the stadium, discard the new stadium card as well. So this card is like a counter stadium, counter stadium. So that could be like bump your power plant, and then if you try to play a power plant on top of Chaos Well, it discards that power plant. I like this card. This card is cool. I'm a huge fan of this card. Chaos Well is cool. I would I can see myself playing like a one of a Mewtwo or something. It could be good. Clay, discard the top seven, reveal all item cards, discard this way, reveal it to your opponent, put them in your hand. Oh, very high risk, very, very high risk. This card's not good. Cynthia and Caitlin play a supporter. When you play this card, you may discard one card from your hand if you do draw three. Oh, put a, first put a discarder, supporter into your discard. Um, so you get that, and then you go discard one, draw three. That's pretty good. I like this card. All these tag team supporters seem good. Uh, it is PTCO, Daniel. Yep. Dragonium Z. Attach a Pokemon to the one your Pokemon is to attached. If this card is attached to a Dragon Claw attack, we're going to use GX attack on this card. ADX, the number of discard all, energy discarded, basic. I don't know what had Dragon Claw, so I don't want to go back and find out. Erica, just both get to draw three. Very mediocre. I don't know why I'd ever play this card um, unless I'm trying to mill my opponent. But it says May, so they don't, have, they don't have to say yes. They can just say, no, I don't want to draw three. So this card just sucks. Um, it says May, so. Uh, discard two from your hand. Um, and it's a, I like this card. Great Catcher is a 10 out of 10. This card's brokenly good. I like it. It's very fair. It's very fair for a discard two effect. Um, yeah, that's good. I like this card. Guzman Hollow, so you deck for a stadium, put it in your hand. If you play this card, you may discard two from your hand. If you do, you may search your deck for Pokemon tool and energy put them in your hand. 
Um, underwhelming right now. There may be better stadiums, better tools as we move along. So this card can't be underrated yet. Um, but any discard two card so far in this game has been fair. So I like that. Island Amulet. This card's going to get banned like insta instantly. Like this card is not making it into Expanded. I promise you guys, this card is not making it to Expanded. Um, but this card is really good because in Standard even. Because you can put it onto something like the Dialga Arceus. Um, or the Lopani or Espioxis, or your Mewtwo, and you simply have the same attacks that you had before, but you now make your opponents take one less prize. Uh, and you have the same firepower that you did before, which is really good. Um, so maybe there's like whatever tool removal we have, like Fabos or something, might make it make their way to the format. Life Center Labs already exists, so we'll see how that, that how that plays out. Um, show one Pokemon, one tool for me to go into your deck. Lion Space Rod Trainer. Could be cute. You have, Rod gets you um, one way to get Pokemon back now. It's not three as before, but getting one and a tool could be kind of cheeky because you get like an evolution deck, put your Eevee back. Um, and like, yeah, for Malamar, Spell Tag, and a, and a Malamar or something like that. Um, Lily's best effort. This, we saw this earlier. Draw four from your deck. If you have three or more cards in your hand, shuffle the cards into your deck until you have two remaining. Lily, your effort sucks, dude. Could be getting something like Malamar uh, or Picaram just to like find those like missing pieces, but uh, overall underwhelming. Clefairy Doll. Damn, this is another good card for stall. Another good card for stall. For sure, this card's pretty good. Mallow and, Lu Mallow and Lana. So it's your active with one of your benched. Discard two, heal 120. So it's a Taten Liza, but you heal a buttload of damage. Um, Verdict is still out on this. I don't know if it's very good. Mystery and Lorelei. So you're there for three water, put them in your hand, shuffle your deck. You may discard five other cards. If you do, your water Pokemon can use a GX. So you can double cold crush. I don't know what the other water types are yet, so I'm not super about it. Uh, probably good, yeah, for the infinite cold crush. Ends resolve, discard top six, attach all basic, run your bench dragon power, come on. Ha, that seems pretty good with the new dragon guy. Okay, I see, I see why this card's good. Yeah, this card's definitely good. Um, Zekrom Reshiram is pretty good. Okay, all right. Also, you can end resolved onto the meta, the Arceus um, and then go in. Oh man, oh baby, okay. <coughs> um, Oak setting. Also seems pretty good. Three different types. Red and blue. Evolve into... The game is actually going to change a lot with this set. Oh my god. Okay. I'm excited. The supporters actually make a huge, huge impact in the way the game is played. Um, yeah. Roller skater. Discard one, draw two. Discard an entry, draw two. So potentially draw four for one. Not great. Rosa. Pokemon trainer basic. Put them in your hand. So it's a, it's a scuffed, um, it's scuffed Cyrus, which was really good in the past. So we will see if that actually does anything. Could be okay. We'll see. Rosa could be a one of to kind of get like the rod, um, or early game something. I don't know. It could be okay. Roxy. This is the one that works with the coughing combo. Discard two Pokemon. Each card draws three. Could be good. I like this card. We'll see where it takes us. Roxy plus like a Persian thing could be good. Um, yeah. Tag Whistle. Yeah, this card's definitely going in a lot of decks. Um, I feel like Tag Whistle, just being able to get the exact supporter you need, um, is really good. Like, uh, yeah, Tag Whistle, good. This card's broken. This card's definitely going to be like a 3 4 of now. Maybe 2 of, even because it's like, it's automatically just saying this is the supporter you want. Um, and it's not only the support you want, say like with ends resolve or not ends resolve, like say like, um, yeah, it's we're, we're going back to a hall on esque engine system right now. That's very correct. And like with little like scuffed Cyrus and stuff. Another fossil gets printed. Will, this card I think is good. Um, you make the coin flip heads, which is good. Draw energy could be cute just to draw, but um, that's, that is the set review. And that is 
um, that is what it is. So I'm excited. A lot of the trainers are really good. A lot of the Pokemon are not amazing, but the GX Pokemon are definitely impactful right now. And that is, I guess, my review on the set.